the Pasuk says, Baruch Hashem Kol bless all the angels, right? Giburei Kawach, the strong ones, Ose Devaro. Now what is this going on? Listen. It's going on in Bnei Yisrael, but it says Malachim. How's it going on in Bnei Yisrael with Malachim? It says, yes. There's, there was a point in history where we were much like an angels. At which point? When we were getting the Torah, we said, Naaseh Venishma. That is a darga of an angel. Why? Ose Devaro. What's an angel? Ose Devaro. What, what does that mean, Ose Devaro? You do God's will. That's an angel. Do you think that you, uh, an angel has a choice? Imagine Hashem says, Oh, by the way, I want you to go and do this A, B, and C. You think the angel has a choice? Oh, wait, okay, I'm not in the mood, I'm tired, can I do it tomorrow? No, it's, it has, you don't understand. An angel it does it in one second. He's a split second. If you look at the rabbis, what they teach us about angels, it's in a second. He could fly, the angel could fly from one in the world to the end of the world. He has wings. It's, it's, it's a Gemara Mesechet Hagiga, Daft Zayin. It speaks about the angels a little bit over there. But it's, it's, they do it in a seconds. There's no such thing. Uh, you know, maybe tomorrow I'll do it. You know, you know, I'm not in the mood today. I'm not in the mood. Ooh, we in the mood. Not in the mood. An angel doesn't have moods. <laughs> right away he's in, you know. Uh, a lady, oh, uh, should I beat you today? It's too hot outside. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. There's no hashbon, maybe not. An uh, angel is ose devaro. An angel does God wants. Finished. There's no, eh, maybe, if, later, tomorrow, I'm hot tired. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Nothing. Huh? That's an angel. And we said, now I say Nishma. But we said, wow, now I say Nishma, that's it, we're doing this, da 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 da. Hashem right away, Hashem right away says, this is, this is angels. Barachu, Hashem Komalachav, all the angels bless God. Giburek Kawach, who's the Giburek Kawach? Who's the strong one? Ose Devaro. You do God's will. Ose Devaro. You do His will. And it says one more time, we're considered like angels. And you know which ones? When we keep Shemitah. I say, what? This week's parasha speaks about Shemitah. When we speak Shemitah, like, what? What, 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 did just, what just happened right there? I'll tell you. You know, to have bitachon in Hashem is like, but I'm talking about complete bitachon in Hashem is like an angel. Think about it. Six years. Think, imagine this was the Parnassah. Imagine right now, I tell you, close your eyes right now. Imagine right now, you're getting one year of work off every seven years. A whole year. Think about it. You might think, ah, I did. But people are starting their businesses. Six years, they're in the business. First year, you know, they have a projection, you know, a goal chart. You know what I'm talking about? They put it in their, in their offices. You know what I'm talking about? They have an office. Go one, uh, this year, we're, we're, we're selling this. Go five, all right, the company is going to be worth uh, 10 million. Go six, six year, I got to triple that, 30 mil. Seven year, oh, by the way, no business. Then you got to go again. <laughs> Next year, start again. Meanwhile, I have all the workers, all employees, they're psyched, they're pumped, this, that. Guys, everybody's off, business is shut. For a year. Ah, the guy has to start his own business again. How would you feel? How would you feel, Mikey? How would you feel? Imagine. You, but, what of, but, but you have to understand the Parnassa was agriculture back then. That was it. That was the Parnassa. What was it? What do you plant? You plant tomatoes. He plants cucumbers. He plants this. He plant, everybody plants something else. You know what I'm saying? That's the way it was. He plants the wheat kernels. He plants the barley. He, that's what it was. Now, in order to keep the Shemitah, you have to have a full trust in Hashem, and you're like an angel. Why? Why is it when a person has bitachon, he's like an angel? Because a real bitachon means where there's no, you don't see, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. You don't see any light. You don't know how this can turn around. You don't know. Uh, you're in a situation in your life where you say to yourself, this is impossible. I can't get out of it. No way. No way. I don't know what's going to be. No way. And then you say, even though I can't see any light, I know 100% Hashem is going to take care of it. But inside, Hashem knows if you really have 100% or not. Understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? I know a person. 
I know this person. You don't understand. This person had 10 kids living in an apartment in a two bedroom, three bedroom, like small. He couldn't. And he would call me, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. And he would tell me, he told me, I know this person, I know the story firsthand, I was involved. Listen. You have to understand, you know what that is? In a, in a two bedroom, three bedroom apartment, you know what it is? Not, not, not the, 10 kids. Anyway, one day, he, uh, I find out there was a, he was a, he had a job, whatever it is. He had to shift jobs, whatever it was. He shifted to jobs some, somewhere else. And there was a person in our community that said, okay, let me see, let me, he was going for a job interview. So he's, he's telling him this, that, that, I have this, I have to do this, that. So he tells him, I have this many kids, I live here. The guy says, one second. He calls up, he knows one of his cousins, like his second cousin. Says, by the way, we're getting your cousin a house. He ended up getting him a house. A house, a full house. He bought, he was renting an apartment. And within six months, he moved into a house. Now, I'm not telling you it's a, I saw the house. I'm not, I'm not, it's not a magic house. But it's a three bedroom with a basement where you can put two, two other be bedrooms in the basement. And it's a nice, decent house. It wasn't so expensive, but it was decent. He told me, in my mind, I didn't know where the salvation is going to come. I didn't know where anything's happening. And then in one second, boom. You're like an angel. Why? You don't know how things are going to turn around. But you hold on tight, you put your seatbelt on, and you say, Hashem, I'm going to be like an angel. An angel has no questions. An angel just does. I'm going to just keep on doing, and you're going to take me for the ride. And even though I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel, I don't see where what's going to be, I know one thing, that I'm in your hands. Like David Amelach says, you know what real pitachon is? You know what the highest love is? Kegamul ale imo. You know what that means? Like a child in the hands of his mother. You ever see a child worry, oh, this, that, that? No. He just cries, this, that, he gets fed. He cries, he gets changed. He cries, everything. Hashem, but you have to really cry to Hashem. You really want something, you got to cry all your health out. You know, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, oh, I, I can rely on this, rely on that. You can't rely on nobody. Zero. No, but you don't understand, my father's a multi-billionaire, you don't understand, my laws, my this, my that, my brother, I have my cousin, I could get into this school. God tells me, oh, I get into this school, well, I have a connection, my, my brother's in the board, my brother's in the, in, the, in the thing. You have to trust only in Hashem, completely. And God knows that, only Hashem knows that. Only Hashem knows what's in your heart. You want to be like a Malach? Have that bitachon like a Malach. When Malach says, Hashem, you want to do, I'll do. You want to be Malach? Yes, Hashem, I don't know. I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. This is the situation. I don't know, but one thing is for sure. You're my father. Take care of me. Shabbat Shalom.